retributive and restorative irony ultimately finds its zenith of expression at the cross. Uh, so for example, the devil uh, is doing all he can to uh, uh, destroy Jesus. And he thinks finally he's come up with the ultimate plan to put him to death on a cross. And yet, just as Haman was hung on his own gallows, the devil himself is hung on his own gallows. Because at the cross, Jesus is taking the penalty of sin for sinners who've been in captivity to Satan. And he, at his very death, is delivering, paying the price for people who are in Satan's captivity. And so uh, the very thing that Satan thought would destroy uh, Christ and, and, and give Satan the victory is itself a defeat for Satan. He's hung on his own gallows. On the other hand, there's restorative irony, and Christ is the epitome of that. Uh, it looks like he's being cursed, but he's being blessed. It looks like he's being defeated, but he's winning a victory. It looks like at the cross he is weak, but indeed he is strong. And so all of these ironies throughout the scriptures ultimately, ultimately are designed by God's sovereign, wise hand to point to the ultimate irony uh, of his son.